Hello friends, my name is Carly and I'm here at the beautiful Stir Museum and I want to read you a story. It's called The Animal Santa. It's written and illustrated by Dan Brett. It's your first Christmas Eve, little snow. The Animal Santa comes tonight, Big Snowshoe told his little brother. Who is the Animal Santa? Little Snow asked. We well, don't know who he is, Big Snowshoe said. Did you ever see him? Little Snow asked. No, the forest animals chimed in. But we find presents from him on Christmas. Last year, I found a heart-shaped wishing stone on my pillow when I woke up, Big Snowshoe told him. I was asleep when I heard ding dong, ding dong. I opened my eyes and this little bell was right there next to me. The porcupine said. The raven twins cawed. A puzzle toy was hanging from our tree branch on Christmas morning. We woke up and found a tasty sack of plump acorns. The squirrel cousins chattered. Someone left me a brush to fluff my beautiful tail. The arctic fox said proudly. Little Snow hadn't said a word. Wouldn't someone have seen his tracks in the snow? He asked. I think you are fooling me. No, we aren't, Big Snowshoe said. He wasn't sure who the animal Santa might be, but he believed he would come on Christmas. We think he's a badger, the squirrels chattered. His thick fur coat keeps him warm in the far north. No, the raven twins cawed. There's always snow at Christmas, and if there is a blizzard, it would take a polar bear to find his way. I'm sure he's a moose, the porcupine told them. He can plow his way through deep, snowy drifts. He could be a wolf, the arctic fox said, smiling. There is no animal Santa, little snow shouted. And anyone who thinks so is silly. I believe there is, big snowshoe told him. But he wished that he had seen the animal Santa so he could really be sure. No, no, no! Little Snow thumped his thumper foot so hard it shattered the ice on the stream. Broken bits slid across in a starburst, making jingly jangly noises. What a beautiful sound, Big Snowshoe thought as he helped his brother up the bank. It's starting to feel like Christmas. Let's go home and get warm. The rabbit family snuggled down for the night. Maybe tonight we will see the animal Santa, Big Snowshoe whispered. Snore, Little Snow mumbled at him and fell asleep. Big Snowshoe was wide awake. Suddenly, he had an idea. He crept out of bed and went down to the stream. Big Snowshoe picked up lacy pieces of broken ice and carried them home to make ice chimes. He pulled up strands of hedge grass. He tied them to the delicate pieces of ice and hung them from branches. There was no wind, so the icy pieces stayed still. It was midnight when a silvery note rang through the forest, then another and another. It was Big Snowshoe's ice chimes. The rabbit family and the other animals woke up and jumped out of bed. Is it the animal Santa? They wondered. The animals did not see anyone or any tracks in the snow. Then, as if falling from the moon, a bundle of sweet clover landed at their feet. The animals looked up as one gift after another fell from the sky. Were they from the animal Santa? A white shape flew silently above them. Little Snow shrugged. It's only a bird, he said. As if he had heard, the snowy owl turned back and called out, Merry Christmas, little friends! Everyone, look! Little Snow pointed at the sky. It's the animal Santa! Little Snow waved at the snowy owl and whispered into the night, Animal Santa, now I know that you are truly, truly, true. The end. Thank you so much for enjoying the beautiful story of the animal Santa with me, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas.